Hello, welcome to Aero Bandwidth, your source for everything you need to know about the technologies, trends, and concepts that are steering our industry today. We hope that you enjoy this episode, and if you do, please subscribe. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special edition of Arrow Podcast NetApp Series. My name is Nadine Cummings. I am the Pre-Sales Solution Architect Manager at Arrow. And today we are talking about NetApp's yellow brick road to the cloud. I'm talking about Cloud Volume on Tap. Also known as CVO, Cloud Volume on Tap is a software-defined storage system that runs in a hyperscaler. So that hyperscaler could be AWS, Google, Microsoft Azure. It is basically on tap, virtualized as a VM or an instance running in the public cloud. So this is how we get customers from the edge to the core, to the cloud. We're talking hybrid cloud. We're talking multi-cloud. We're talking data mobility. When we hear the term data fabric, this is where NetApp shines because NetApp has the ability to provide a clear path or an extension to the cloud. So this in turn will enable customers to transform their business, their data services, be able to manage those processes holistically from a single pane. So, Using CVO, customers now have the ability to migrate their data from on-prem to the cloud using the same protocols used on site, NFS, SIFS, iSCSI, but it also maintains the same storage efficiencies within ONTAP, such as thin provisioning, deduplication, compression, data compaction, even encryption at rest and in flight. We also gave customers the ability to tier cold data to object storage automatically. So data is always available, always secure, and compliant. So how do we get to the cloud? Simply put, if data is stored on NetApp equipment in the data center, it can be replicated using Snap Mirror through Cloud Manager. Now, if a customer has data that is sitting on non-NetApp equipment, that data can be replicated using NetApp Cloud Sync, which is a service that can be deployed through the marketplace in either AWS, GCP, or Azure. So it's really important to understand the reasons why CVO. One key use case for CVO is DR, disaster recovery. Moving disaster recovery to the cloud instead of maintaining a secondary data center. So the benefit here is customers get to save on cost. They don't need to purchase additional hardware or lease out colo space. The public cloud really makes DR cost effective for companies of all sizes. A second key use case for cloud volumes on tap is the ability to migrate those business applications to the cloud, mission critical operations. You can move these applications to the cloud without re-architecting. A third use case for cloud volumes on tap is file shares in the cloud, consolidation. It's easy to replace or extend your on-prem NAS shares with the cloud. You can use those NetApp NAS capabilities such as storage efficiencies, encryption, snapshot copies, and even receive protection against ransomware in the cloud. So what is the difference in price if I'm a partner with a relationship in either of those hyperscalers? First question I'd ask is, what are the price differences between those cloud providers? And the answer is the CVO prices are exactly the same in all supported cloud providers. So whether it's Azure, whether it's AWS, Google Cloud Platform, the pricing is the same. Let's talk about pricing. How do partners get paid? How can we make money on this product? There are two ways to transact for a NetApp Cloud opportunity. Number one, 
bring your own license. So this is a software license that's purchased and can be registered and transacted through the NetApp Ascend tool or through Arrow. Once you've identified the NetApp solution that would meet that customer's business goals, we can then consider which hyperscaler to place that customer's environment. Once we've identified that hyperscaler, we can then apply for the rebate through Cloud Hub. So whether you are a CPP, which is a Cloud Preferred Partner or not, you will receive a one-time 5% rebate of that cloud service consumption, 4% for public sector deals. So if you are a CPP Cloud Preferred Partner, you will also receive a 15% rebate for those cloud services. The deal then gets quoted through Arrow, just as you would for a normal sales opportunity, whether it's infrastructure or a software sale, partners are able to recognize that revenue as if it were the same. The second way we can transact for a NetApp Cloud opportunity is through the marketplace. There are two procurement options here. You can purchase by the hour as PayGo, or you can purchase a subscription from NetApp. So in the PayGo model, you can purchase directly from AWS, GCP, or Azure. You pay for that cloud volume on tap software and the support, and then you pay that hyperscaler resource by the hour. For the subscription model though, you can purchase a six month or an annual subscription from NetApp via Cloud Manager and you activate that subscription and support it to enable a cloud volume. Keep in mind the payout is different per hyperscaler. Partners that utilize Microsoft Azure or Google receive a back-end rebate that is paid quarterly to the partner from NetApp. For AWS as a CPPO, there is a front-end discount that is paid monthly to the partner. So the customer pays the hyperscaler for consumption, the hyperscaler pays NetApp, and NetApp pays the partner. Speaking of payouts, click the link below to submit your code to receive a $50 gift card just for listening to this podcast. That code is CVO-2021. A R R W. So that's CVO 2021. A as in Apple, R as in Roger, R as in Roger, W as in Walter. The goal of this podcast was to provide a simple overview of NetApp CVO and help partners understand how they can get paid selling NetApp cloud services. If you'd like more information about CVO and how to get started, with CVO services, you can go to cloud.netapp.com and you can also reach out to your Arrow engineering team at netappengineer at arrow.com. We can assist in helping you find the proper solution to fit your customer's business goals, as well as guide you through the process of registering this deal through Ascend and through Cloud Hub. Thank you for listening to an Arrow podcast of our NetApp series. Thanks so much for listening. To contact us on Twitter, use hashtag AeroBandwidth, and we'll see you next week.